In the annals of cinematic history, certain films stand out not only for their narrative prowess, but also for the indelible mark they leave on the audience. One such classic is the 1959 movie Anatomy of a Murder. Directed by Otto Preminger, this courtroom drama navigates the complexities of a murder trial with a keen eye for detail and a commitment to realism that was groundbreaking for its time. As we delve into the layers of this cinematic gem, one might wonder, do you have a cherished memory associated with this movie? Or are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this film that fascinate you? The film's exploration of morality, ethics, and the nuances of the human psyche offers a rich tapestry for such reflections. Now, before we embark on a journey through intriguing tidbits about the production, let's ponder what is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Anatomy of a Murder. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Setting the stage for our exploration, the film unfolds in the tranquil yet tense backdrop of the small town courtroom. The narrative, based on a real-life case, unfolds with meticulous precision, drawing viewers into a web of moral ambiguity and legal intricacies. The performances, led by James Stewart, are nothing short of stellar, adding depth to characters that linger in the mind long after the credits roll. As we navigate through the behind-the-scenes details, consider this. The film's groundbreaking approach to tackling taboo subjects was met with both acclaim and controversy, making it a cinematic landmark of its era. The impeccable script, penned by Wendell Mays, walks the tightrope between legal thriller and character study with finesse. Now, dear reader, do you know that the judge in the film, played by Joseph N. Welch, was a real-life lawyer famous for his role in the Army McCarthy hearings? Such trivia adds layers to the viewing experience, inviting a fresh perspective on the interconnectedness of real-life events and their cinematic counterparts. Before we conclude, share with us what resonates with you the most about Anatomy of a Murder. Your insights and experiences contribute to the rich tapestry of appreciation for this classic. We eagerly await your stories in the comments below. And there you have eat a glimpse into the riveting world of Anatomy of a Murder, a film that transcends its time and continues to captivate audiences with its timeless exploration of justice and human nature. Until next time, keep the conversation alive and share your thoughts with us. Anatomy of a Murder, released in 1959 and directed by Otto Preminger, is a landmark courtroom drama that delves into the intricate dynamics of a murder trial. Adapted from a novel by John D. Volker, who wrote under the pseudonym Robert Traver, the film masterfully navigates the moral ambiguity surrounding a sensational murder case in a small Michigan town. The narrative unfolds through the eyes of James Stewart's character, Paul Beegler, a laid-back and astute defense attorney, as he takes on the defense of a perplexing case involving an army lieutenant accused of murdering a local innkeeper who allegedly assaulted the lieutenant's wife. What sets anatomy of a murder apart is its nuanced exploration of legal ethics, challenging societal norms, and the shades of truth that emerge within the courtroom. The film boasts a stellar cast, with Stewart's performance earning him an Academy Award nomination and showcasing his ability to portray the complexities of the human condition. Supported by memorable performances from Lee Remick, Ben Gazzara, and George C. Scott, the characters come to life with authenticity and depth. Preminger's directorial style, marked by long takes and a deliberate pace, allows the audience to engage with the intricate details of the case, heightening the suspense and emphasizing the weight of the moral decisions at hand. Anatomy of a Murder had a significant impact on popular culture, breaking new ground in its candid approach to sexual themes and moral dilemmas within the context of a courtroom drama. Its influence is evident in subsequent legal thrillers, setting a standard for the genre. The film's exploration of the legal system's gray areas and its unflinching examination of human behavior have ensured its enduring relevance in cinematic history. Anatomy of a Murder remains a timeless classic, a compelling exploration of justice, morality, and the human psyche, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of film noir and legal dramas alike. Shooting for Anatomy of a Murder wrapped up in just two months, a testament to the efficiency of the production process. Filmed on location in Marquette County, MI, the movie utilized the Carnegie Public Library in Ishbeaming for the law library scenes in the courthouse. Interestingly, the courthouse door in Marquette was, in reality, the entrance to the men's restroom. 
Joseph N. Welch, a real-life lawyer famous for representing the U.S. Army in the 1954 televised Army McCarthy hearings, took on the role of the judge. Notably, the part was initially offered to Spencer Tracy and Burl Ives. Welch's presence adds a unique layer of authenticity to the film, and his archive footage appears later in Good Night and Good Luck. These behind-the-scenes details shed light on the pragmatic aspects of the movie's creation, emphasizing the filmmaker's commitment to accuracy, even in seemingly minor details. The brisk shooting schedule and use of authentic locations contribute to the film's genuine portrayal of a small Michigan town's courtroom drama, a key factor in its lasting impact on cinematic history. Anatomy of a Murder's success lies not only in its compelling narrative, but also in the meticulous attention to detail during its production. These insights into the making of the film provide a fascinating perspective on how the movie's authenticity extends beyond the courtroom and into the very fabric of its creation. Duke Ellington, renowned for his musical prowess, not only composed the score for the 1959 film Anatomy of a Murder, but also made a cameo appearance as Pie Eye. His jazz-infused soundtrack adds a distinctive layer to the movie's atmosphere, enriching the viewing experience. Ellington's dual role as composer and actor brings a unique blend of talent to the production, contributing to the film's cultural significance. Beyond the legal drama and courtroom dynamics, Ellington's musical influence underscores the film's depth, showcasing the collaborative effort that went into creating this cinematic classic. The fusion of Ellington's musical genius with the compelling narrative elevates Anatomy of a Murder to a multidimensional work of art, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of film noir and legal dramas alike. James Stewart's last Oscar-nominated performance and George C. Scott's first nod came in the 1959 courtroom drama Anatomy of a Murder. Stewart, portraying the laid-back defense attorney Paul Beegler, delivered a memorable performance that earned him recognition from the Academy. Meanwhile, George C. Scott's compelling portrayal added to the film's stellar cast. The movie's impact extended beyond the screen, facing a bit of controversy during its UK premiere at the Columbia Theatre, Shaftesbury Avenue, London. Initially presented in its full 161-minute length, director Otto Preminger later agreed to a 20-minute cut, intended only for small-town cinemas, not London. However, Columbia distributed the edited version, including an unauthorized intermission by rank, causing Preminger's displeasure. The film also experienced cast changes during production. Pat Hingle's unfortunate fall down an elevator shaft led to James Dolly stepping into the role of Mitch Lodwick. Dolly later left for a Broadway play, making way for Brooks West, husband of Eve Arden, to join the cast. Notably, this legal drama marked a significant point in James Stewart's career and set the stage for George C. Scott's future Oscar successes. The controversies around its UK release and the behind-the-scenes cast adjustments offer a glimpse into the intricate journey of bringing Anatomy of a Murder to the screen. In the end, this 1959 classic, with its enduring performances and production nuances, stands as a testament to the intricacies of filmmaking and the impact it can have on the careers of its talented cast. As we bid adieu to the cinematic journey that is Anatomy of a Murder, let the echoes of its 1959 brilliance resonate in the corridors of your thoughts. This masterpiece, like a timeless melody, has woven itself into the fabric of our collective imagination, leaving indelible impressions on the canvas of film history. Now, take a moment to reflect. What chord did this legal drama strike within you? Did it unravel the mysteries of morality? Or perhaps, did it beckon you to the intricate dance between justice and human frailty? Your connection to anatomy of a murder is a personal tapestry, uniquely woven with threads of perception and emotion. This isn't merely a film, it's an exploration of the human condition, a mirror reflecting our own complexities. As you contemplate the narrative, we invite you to share the mosaic of your thoughts. What scenes linger in the corridors of your memory? Which characters have etched themselves onto the tableau of your cinematic soul? Your voice adds another layer to the ongoing dialogue surrounding the cinematic gem. Share your musings, your insights, and your favorite moments. Let's build a collective symphony of reflections, each note contributing to the rich tapestry of appreciation for anatomy of a murder. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic voyage with us, for unraveling the intricacies of a film that transcends time. Your thoughts breathe life into the legacy of this classic.
reflect, reminisce, and share at stage is yours. And as you do, remember that this conversation is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Thank you for your time, your thoughts, and your passion for the art of cinema. Until the next reel unfolds, continue exploring the depths of your cinematic soul.